previously. So this is my ping app. And so we go. Wait, did I hit record? Okay, I did. God, I'm dumb. Three, two, one. Hello friends, my name's Internet, and welcome back to Professor Layton in the Curious Village. We are going to go through, let me make sure there's no hidden points here, this little area over here. I am picking up right where I left off, so nothing new. Oh, well of course there's a hint coin there. I feel like I wasted my dog. Mm. No, there's another one here somewhere. There's always three. Oh, I didn't expect there to be a puzzle there. There's a hidden puzzle here. I did not expect there to be a puzzle there. <laughs> Red and blue one. One? Oh boy. Oh no. The box below holds red and blue balls. As you can see, the color of the balls and the color of the respective areas don't match. Slide the balls around so that the box... Yeah, okay. Didn't we just do this? Boop. And then boop. And then... Boop. And then... Oops. Nope. And I slide this back over. And then boop. 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 I know I gotta get that one out of the back, don't worry. Oh, wait, uh, yeah, there we go. I don't know how many moves this is supposed to be solved in, but with this janky ass controls, that's not happening anyways, so I don't care. I just want to get them in the right area. <clears throat> Can be solved in this view as blah 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 moves. Oh, 30. That's not as bad as I thought, but with the janky ass controls, that's not happening. That puzzle was a tough one. Cool. We already did a puzzle like that, though. I don't understand how that's one. I thought this was a door I could go in. Alright, on through we go. There's another note here. There's a person, there's a thing on the ground. There's another coin up here. I haven't met this person yet, so thank you. So many hand coins. I appreciate it. <laughs> oh me, oh my. It's not every day I see a handsome fuck around dish parts. You look so impressive, dearie, but let's see if you got smarts. Try this puzzle on for size. I'd be happy to solve any puzzle you have, madam, but I don't believe we've met before. You are? Mm hmm Want to know my name, dearie? I'll tell you as soon as you solve this puzzle. This puzzle. This, this, this. Aces and the Joker. All right. You've scattered a deck of 52 cards and one joker face down on the table so you don't know which card is where. Next, you start turning the cards over one by one. Assuming that you can't flip the same card twice, what are the percentage odds that you will turn over all four aces before you turn over the joker? Jesus Christ. Um... <sighs> okay. I don't know how percentages... Like, I know how percentages work, but I'm not good with putting them into, like, let's say 25%. It's not right, but that's what I'm going to put in. I don't care. And then we'll look at the hints. Well, I have to turn over all four jokers. So, actually... 
Hmm. All right, I really need hints on this one. Out of 53 cards, four are aces. Each time you flip a card, the probability of turning over an ace increases, but you really don't need to work out any of that. Think about what you can do to eliminate the other variables to consider. If you distill this question down to its simplest form, it's just asking how likely it is that you flip over the four aces in any order before you turn over the joker. The other 48 cards have nothing to do with the problem. Okay, let's lay it all on the table, so to speak. There are five cards that actually matter in this puzzle. Of those five, the joker has to come last. So what's the probability of flipping the joker over after the other four cards? I'm really bad with probability and statistics and just all that loveliness. I just... Uh... Okay, it's... One out of five. So, what's that one out of five? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I really, 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 really don't know. I don't. So I already guessed 25. Let's guess 20. Because that's a fifth of the chance. That's how that works, right? I have a one out of five chance because I have to flip over a card and it may or may not be a joker. So it's a one out of five chance of being a joker. So every time I flip over a card, it's a one out of five chance of being a joker. But the probability goes down. I'm just going to put 20% I give up. That's right. Well, it may seem like you need to take in the, uh, the other cards into account. No card in, in the deck, save the joker and the four aces, plays any part in calculating the percentage. Knowing that you only have to deal with five cards in your calculations, the rest is easy. You have five cards to flip, and you need one of those five cards to be last. So your answer is one out of five, or 20%. <laughs> yes, indeed. That's right. Smarts and looks. You're just a total package, aren't you? I'm Martha. I just love cards, especially puzzles that use cards. Oh, those are my favorite dish. <laughs> I don't think I've mentioned how much I also enjoy the company of a handsome gentleman. Um, Professor, don't we have somewhere to be right now? Oh, what is that on the ground? It appears to be a scrap of paper. Can you please read what's written on it, Luke? Leave it to me, Professor. Hmm. The boss hasn't been himself since Lady Violet's passing, and he shows no signs of recovering. That's why I've decided I'll make one as a tribute to Lady Violet. I'm sure it'll put a smile on his face. Ah, uh, yes, now it makes sense. Could our mystery author be him? I've first my fingers to the bone trying to cheer up the boss. Looking out over St. Mysteria, I see a thriving, bustling village. With so many villagers to keep him company, maybe he can finally be happy again. That's the end of the page. Professor, what's the matter? You look deep in thought. I can't confirm my suspicions at the moment, but I think it's safe to say this goes way deeper than we thought. They're all robots! That's my guess. I mean, it makes... That, that's the only thing that I can see makes sense. Ew. Okay. Look, it's a hidden puzzle. I don't know if he just sniffs out hint coins or puzzles too. Painting a cube. 30 picker rats. In front of you sits a blank paper cube that you've decided to paint. You need to paint the cube so that all the face, faces that touch are different colors. Using three colors of paint, how many ways can you paint the cube so that it satisfies the above conditions? Each painting scheme should be different pattern, not just the same pattern with the colors you arrange. Also assume that you can't leave any sides of the square blank. Hmm. Mm. Okay. So, for them not to be touching, they have to be on opposite sides. So, like, this is blue. That one's blue. This is yellow and yellow. This is red and red. Right? So, that's one. I 
And then I could flip these around so it would be in a different pattern. But all I would be doing is turning it. There's only one way to paint a cube. So that works. Right? How does this sound? Otherwise it's just flipping it. <clears throat> if you have to paint the cube with three colors, your only choice is to paint the opposing sides the same color. As seen in the diagram above, even if you were to change where you used each color, rotating the cube proves it really just reusing the same idea of painting the opposing sides the same color. Yep. Exactly. There's only one unique way to color this cube using three paints. I, exactly. I could do that puzzle standing on one foot. I'd prefer if you didn't. But is there a hint coin here, or was he just sniffing out the hidden puzzle? Damn it, he was just sniffing out the hidden puzzle. I don't want to talk to you again, but I'm going to. Sorry, dear, but I don't have any puzzles for you right now. Why not stick around for a chat? I'm sorry, madam, but I think we'd better get moving. I think I've got everything here. I'm gonna go. Bye, crazy woman. I think this is a dead end. I don't think so. And this does appear to be the only road, doesn't it? Gosh, that tower looks awfully ominous, doesn't it? Seeing it up close, I can understand why the villagers are so scared of the place. Let's take a closer look at this wall. There may be more to it than meets the eye. Yeah, there is a switch somewhere. That's Flora, right? Well, I'd rather not say. Huh? Why not? What are you hiding? We seek access to the tower. Oh. Do you think you could help us, miss? The tower? Hmm. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> oh, wait. What in the world was that about? Huh? Professor, what's this? A Ferris wheel ticket. Very curious indeed. Luke, that girl may have dropped this to tell us where we should head next. But, but why would she want to help us? Your guess is as good as mine, Luke. Still, I can't shake the feeling that she's trying to help us. Well, your intuition has never been wrong. Let's see what we can find around the park's Ferris wheel. <laughs> That's right, Leighton. Go straight to the park. You've been a thorn in my side for too long. I think it's about time for you to disappear. For good. Psh! Chapter solved! Hint coins. Hint coins. I would like a puzzle here. And also, one more hint coin would be nice, too. I bet there's one here somewhere. If only I could find it. I guess not. Whatever. Hey, did you see a little girl run past here? <sighs> okay. Bye, though. I think I got everything here. Alright, let's keep going. Did you see a girl run past? About yay hi, name's probably Flora. No. Does it make sense for the story? I'm pretty sure she's in the later games. Actually, is there anybody in the restaurant now? Or in the cavern tavern tavern the back? Actually, hold on. Now that no one's here. I wanna make sure I don't miss anything. Nope, okay. I mean, I probably have, but whatever at this point. Let's get some water. Uh, Got to stay hydrated. And coffee is not hydrating. Mm. <coughs> oh, God. I'm dying. <coughs> okay. Oh. Thank you. Dog is very helpful. 
<coughs> this park has been closed every time we've come by. Why do you suppose that is, Professor? <coughs> I have the foggiest idea. Perhaps we should ask someone at Town Hall. Does the park hold the way into the tower? Search the park grounds to find out. <coughs> Save your progress? Okay. <coughs> oh, God. How many puzzles have I solved now? 99. Almost 100 puzzles. So many puzzles. I don't want to ask the town hall guy. Shh. Fine. The town hall guy is always an asshole. Not well, really an asshole, just kind of rude. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> What's that you say? The gate to the park is locked shut. No, no, that's impossible. We've employed a caretaker. She will have everything up and running. Be that as it may, the gate is locked shut. And we can't gain entrance to the place. Would you please open it for us? That sort of thing is the job of the park caretaker. I strongly advise you go find him. Well, where do you think we might find this caretaker? Now that is a good question, isn't it? Managing the park is the caretaker's duty, but who knows who manages the caretaker? I can't say. It's not one of my duties. What a bureaucracy. He manages the town sewer systems as well. Now, unless you have some form you need to fill out, I strongly advise you beat it. Gosh, she's rude. Sewers, unpleasant as it may be, it's the only place we haven't searched yet. Perhaps we'll find a clue to our mystery down there. I've only seen one manhole in town. Oh, right, the one on the path to the park. Well, it's a dirty job, but someone has to do it. Off we go. Yeah, let's just go crawl around in the sewers for reasons. Is the guy over here still here? Yo, do you have a puzzle for me by chance? <clears throat> ah, yep. Yep, okay, you don't. What about in here? Is anybody here yet? Nope. Still nobody in here. All right, away I go. Come, come on, keep going. Is this open before? I uh, it uh, hi. <coughs> You're weird looking. Excuse me, are you by any chance the park caretaker? Um, no, I am an explorer of El Mundo. Right now, I'm trying to familiarize myself with the local culture. Oh, um, will you please pardon my mistake then? Have a pleasant day, sir. Oh, wait, for one moment, s'il vous plaît. I just saw the man of work clothes pass through here. Could he play the caretaker, perhaps? He could be. Which way did he go? Probably to the right. Pero, uh, maybe it was the left. I see. Are you feeling alright? You seem a bit directionally challenged for being an explorer. I just arrived here after a few years of world travel. Je ne sais pas the local geography here, but that's all. I see. In that case, please forgive me for making another assumption. Now, please excuse us as we need to get going. Wait, which way to the villi villaggio? Donde esta the train station? Why do you keep switching between Spanish and French? They don't have a train station. Uh, are you the caretaker? There's a lot of people hanging out in these sewers. Sylvain. Oh, there. What can I do you fellows for? You're the park caretaker, are you not? Would you mind opening up the park gate for us? Well, how can I refuse two curious lads such as yourself? Well, I'd like to open it up for you, but I just got to finish up this repair job before I do anything. Is there anything we could do to help then? Funny you should mention that. I could just figure out the area in this map. I'd be done in a jiff. Are you good with things like that? I could certainly try. Sylvain brought you this diagram to see if you can help him with it. Several circles and squares are pictured in the diagram below. How many times larger is the area of the blue square compared to the area of the red square? Maybe three? Oh, how embarrassing. 
Don't need to work any high level math to figure out the answer. You've been trying to solve this one with cold hard math. You might want to try a more simple approach. Uh, no, I was just guessing. So, yep. <clears throat> Not three either? Okay. Frankly, I'm ashamed. Hmm. Curious, um does the stuff inside the square count? Like you know what I mean? What if I just put one one times bigger? Because it's the same size. Here's my answer. No? Okay. Where's the shot? I guess I'll look at the hints now. All right. Hint. You see the circle that touches the sides of the big blue square? A smaller square sits inside the circle and touches it. Since the square is smaller than the circle, you can rotate it within the circle. Well, yeah. If you rotate the middle square 45 degrees, its corners will touch the sides of the large blue square. At the same time, notice that this rotation has made it so that the red square's corners now have made contact with the middle square. Have trouble visualizing the rotation? Try drawing it on your screen. Okay. Um... <clears throat> So, boop, 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 and then I'm going to say four because that's the only one I haven't tried, and I just And five just is too much bigger. Uh, that's right. If you rotate the middle square 45 degrees as shown in the picture above, the answer becomes apparent. Does it? Does it really? The middle square has half the area of the large blue square, and the little red square has half the area of the middle square. Ew. Oh, because when you rotate it, you can see that it's... Oh. That's clever. Huh. Fine work to both of you. As soon as I take this busted main, I'll open that gate for you. There, that ought to take care of this mess. Now let's open up that park, eh? Just hold on one second here. Wait, I want to go back to the sewers. There we are. The park is now yours to explore. Professor, we're in. Thank you. You've been a great help, caretaker. <laughs> I hardly need thanking, sir. After all, this is my job. Way back when, I used to keep it open every day. But these villagers, they don't care a whit for me, park. I'm just glad you fellas stopped by. It's my first time in a while that I've had to do me a job. No, go back to the sewer, please. I have other stuff I want to look at down here. Statue, what are you doing here? <laughs> oh, you don't look surprised. I bet you, don't you look surprised. I bet you didn't expect to see me in a place like this, eh? The river that encircles most of the same mysterious runs right past this pipe. But don't you begin thinking any ideas. You can't cross it. Give up on those ridiculous notions of returning to the rest of the world and settle down here. I suppose it's tough to transition to Mick. Here's a puzzle to help get you situated. My cat's mad that he's outside, but like... I don't want to let him in. Which boxes to move? In preparation for your big move, you've packed your belongings into 20 boxes and arranged them as shown below. Why would you do that? With everything packed, you are now ready to label each box with its contents. In order to do so, though, you'll need to move a few boxes around. How many of the boxes can't be labeled without rearranging the stack? Um, two? Three. Just three. Hmm. <laughs> Critical 
thinking is the key to success. Oh, <laughs> busy celebrating. I forgot to hit the button. Quite right. Moving down from the top level, you have one, four, six, and nine boxes. The only boxes you can't access without rearranging things are the three indicated in the above picture. Yep. Okay, well done. I like the way you get fired up over puzzles. You're my kind of guy. So hurry up and get settled already. St. Mysterio is happy to have you. Anything else here? Ooh, a hit coin. Do you have any other puzzles for me, sir? from the look on their faces you're dying to live by my house aren't you okay i'm gonna take it that i've gotten what i can here ah where is it there we go probably one over here too nope okay we're just gonna go probably one in here somewhere maybe the light fixture nope those lights nope come on there we go there's one just gotta click freaking frackin' everywhere. Okay, I'm just gonna go. I haven't looked through here yet either. Oh, God. Didn't expect to find one right there. Surprisingly, even though it makes sense for one to be there. Okay. These are in really stupid places. Alright, I think I'm good. Let's go. I'm glad I came back down here. I got the puzzle I wanted. Let's go. Ooh. This park is really kind of sad, isn't it? It's all rusted and abandoned. Just as Sylvain said, it seems that no one has set foot in this park for a dreadfully long time. Now on to business. Let's give the grounds around the Ferris wheel a once over. Expect we'll find something of interest there. In a minute, I have other stuff I want to look out for, so story will wait. Oh my. What is it, Professor? Look at this poster. The picture appears to be the same as the one on the ticket we picked up. It looks like it's been posted here for ages. It's so faded, you can't even read the letters. Oh. Hey, isn't that... Yes, I thought so. It's the little floor in the middle of the picture, isn't it? She looks exactly as she does in the portrait we saw of her in Reinhold Manor. It would seem that Baron Reinhold built his amusement park for the sole enjoyment of his daughter. Strange, I wonder why it wasn't more popular with village folk once it was open to the public. Well, I suppose speculation... I don't suppose speculation will help us very much. Let's keep moving. Right you are, Professor. Hint mm. coin, yeah. Woo. Wait, what? Map of the park, it's yellowed with age. Wait, which way can I go? I can go left or I can go up. Both ways lead to the Ferris wheel. I'm going to go this way. This place is so run down. It looks like it hasn't been touched in years. What a shame. I bet it used to be a fun place. There's even a big tent like the one you see in circuses. Yes, that's something quite sad about it, isn't there? How strange. It was clearly a traveling carnival. Why was it left to rot here in St. Mystere? I bet the Ferris wheel is the best, too. <sighs> I suppose I won't get to use that ride ticket we picked up. Well, we have better things to do than ride that thing, don't we? Somewhere in this park hides a clue to finding the golden apple. I'm sure of it. Alright, hold on. I can go that way. Don't want to yet, though. Give me... Yep, that's what I thought. Aha. Yep, gotta click every little thing. So the Ferris wheel is that way, so let's go back this way and head to the right. <clears throat> I'm not ready to go to the Ferris wheel just yet. Whoa, hey. There's a thing on the ground. There's a hint coin here. Nice, hint coin here. No. Is this your house? Probably. <clears throat> oh, you lads again, eh? How do you like me park? Lovely, isn't it? Oh, I changed his accent, but I like this one better. The sun shined bright today, and I'm in fallen spirits. If I don't celebrate this weather with a puzzle, let me tell you one of my favorites. Seems more like Irish than Southern to me. In a hole. A tennis ball has rolled its way to a hole. <sighs> I 
this particular hole has a sharp bit in the middle, making the ball impossible to retrieve by hand. To make matters worse, the ground around the hole is made of hard clay, so digging the ball out isn't an option. However, you, you have something incredibly commonplace on hand that you can use to get the ball out. What do you use to get the ball out? Answer in five letters. Um. Hmm. What do you have that's commonplace? Is it a belt? No. All right. Uh, no, 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 that's not the way. Is there some way you could get the ball to come to the mouth of the hole? Water. Nope. <laughs> nope. Fill up the hole and it'll float up. Another puzzle solved. <laughs> that's, that's correct. Theoretically, you could use any liquid in which the tennis ball can float, but water is the liquid you would most likely have handy. Since the ground is hard clay, there's little chance of the water getting absorbed into the surrounding earth. The ball should come up with little difficulty. <laughs> and you're quite the solver, ain't you? Ah, uh, yes, getting back to me park. It hasn't been properly maintained and the parts have just rotten away. If something looks old and broken, do the spot thing, lads, and stay away from it. Ooh, violin. Hold up. Mm, yep, that's what I thought. Okay. 32 minutes. Alright, we're almost there. Look at this, Professor. It was lying on the ground. It appears to be a scrap of notebook paper. Would you read it aloud for me? Sure thing, Professor. All right, let's see. The older she gets, the more young Miss is catching on to this village's secret. She seems lonely, which is probably why the boss asked me to build an amusement park for her. Yeah, but certainly looks like I've got my work cut out for me. What's on me? The young Miss mentioned here must be for the young Miss mentioned here must be for the whole park was built just for her. But I don't understand any of this other line. What's all this business about there being a secret in this village? I just wasn't ready to handle the boss's death. Poor young miss, she's all alone in the world now. No matter what happens, I have to keep going and take care of her in the boss's place. The pageant's there. Baron Reinhold sounds like he truly loved his daughter more than anything. Fate can be so cruel. Alright. I was getting there, damn you. Beat me to it. Look, Professor, there's a hidden puzzle here. Woo! Hidden puzzle. The largest total. Oh, brother. Knight's graves are carved into a piece of wood. Oh, rage. <sighs> 90 numbers between 1 and 51, so that any three numbers have the same sum when they're added vertically, horizontally, or diagonally. While several combinations are possible, your task is to find the number that occupies the center square when you arrange the numbers to yield the highest possible total. Oh, I don't want to do this one. Uh, can I draw on it? Yes. Fuck. 51 numbers you can choose from, but since you're trying to get the largest total possible, you might want to try the biggest numbers first. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. So... Let's put 51 here. And then... We want one to be here. Because I need them to be in the same spot. Wait, hold on. No. 51. And then 50. And then... 49. 
Uh, 40. Uh, 40. Oh, 51 has to be in the middle. I misunderstood. All right, hold on. A stated hint one, you should place the large numbers in your square. Use the numbers 43 and 50 through 51 when formulating your answer. Okay. 51 needs to be in the middle. So let's put 51. 51. Uh, 49, 48, 47, that won't work, because that is definitely lower than that. Mm. Okay. 49 plus 47 is... 9, 96, and this would be, no, 9, that wouldn't work. Forty-seven. Yeah, no. Forty-six. Forty-five. Forty-four. Forty-three. It may not seem obvious at first, but the center number is used in every single tabulation. So since you're trying to get the largest sum as possible, doesn't it make sense? So why do you keep telling me this? I know. Ugh. 51. So 50. 49. 48. 47. Okay. No, that's not going to work. 50 and 43 have to be the same as... But... But... It doesn't really work like that. Mm. I'm just doing 43. I need this to be 43. Or this to be forty-eight, and this to be forty-nine. Uh, what's the answer I can input? Isn't it just fifty-one? I think I've got it. The oh. Here I am trying to freaking math things out, and it just wants to know what the middle number is. I didn't understand. Go away. That was really annoying. I didn't understand that that's what you wanted. Oof, I got it, but just barely. Alright. Um, is this going to the Ferris wheel? No. Professor, there's a strange little shed here. Interesting. It seems the shed routes water into the sewer pipes. I feel this warrants a closer look. Hmm. Doesn't appear that the door will open. Let's move on and explore the rest of the park, Luke. Said don't want in the lake. Don't throw trash in the lake. I'm trying to see if I can find all the hint coins. Before I move on. Alright. 
Well, I'm going to go ahead and end that episode there. Um, we're going to at least finish this area. And that's what I'm going to do. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode of whatever I decide to make. They're not setting out.